Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're going to find out, does RAM size really matter? And today's video is brought to you by Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension that ensures that you don't miss a price drop or coupon code when shopping online. And on a side note, we actually recently started using Karma because we planned so many PC builds that we actually wanted to see how much money we could save on Best Buy and we saved a lot. And make sure when you go to use our affiliate links, you use Karma as well to make sure you can find the best prices on RAM like this. Installing Karma is very simple. All you have to do is download the Google Chrome extension from the Chrome App Store, browse to your favorite supported website, and click the Karma button in the top right corner. From here, you can start saving products to your personal wish list, which we actually have a list saved with PC parts that we want to use for future projects. And you will get notified via email or push notification when that product has gone on sale, or if that product has a relevant coupon code or even if it comes back in stock. So if you're hunting for a GPU, you can get notified when they come back in stock. Karma also scans the web for coupon codes and applies them at checkout automatically, helping you save more money. The feature is limited to the Chrome extension. And last but certainly not least, you can earn Karma cash back by purchasing from select retail partners. What's not to love about this free tool? So make sure you check the description down below to install that link so you can start using Karma today and start saving that money. Let's get back into the video. So the RAM that we got picked out, you can get on Amazon all day, no problem. This is Patriot Viper Gaming RAM. So in order here, we have 32, 16, and eight gigs. They're all in dual channel. So you can see that's what the two means. Two by eight means two eight gig sticks, two by four, two four gig sticks, and then two by 16, two 16 gig kits. They're all DDR4, they're all 3200 megahertz. Um, and we have it going into a B460M motherboard. So we may not be able to utilize the full 3200 megahertz, but it doesn't change the test because it still means they're all gonna run at the exact same speed. Even if it's only like 2933, that won't be a problem. But this is a pretty good looking RAM. It has heat sinks on every single one, so we won't have any heat problems. And our build is good enough to where there shouldn't be any bottlenecks with the actual parts when we're gaming. So what we're gonna be doing is testing the traditional like eSports titles, maybe a couple high-end games here and there because a lot of people may argue high-end games are where you might want 32 gigs of RAM versus 16, or if eight gigs is even viable for those high-end games. So what we'll do is run through a test of maybe two or three games per capacity, and then just see what kind of numbers we have. So let's just dive into some testing. All right, guys, let's not waste any more time and dive into the test results. Now, we decided to test each RAM configuration in a couple of titles, those being Fortnite, Warzone, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and Borderlands 3. Now, one thing to get out of the way is Fortnite and Warzone are games that have a lot of different variables. We tried our best to limit those variables by, well, in Fortnite, we dropped in the same location every single time, and in Warzone, we used the training mode, which the training mode isn't nearly as demanding as the main game, but it allowed us to have consistent numbers so do keep in mind that you could get higher frame rates but once you see the testing you really won't care too much about how we did it because there were some really weird results that we do need to discuss and first up in Fortnite at 1080p on performance mode we got 210 plus fps now the game does run pretty smooth, but there are a few hitches here and there, and you'll see when we start testing Fortnite at 16 gigs that we start having, well, an issue of if you have only eight gigs of RAM, you're gonna get similar high frame rates, but the average lows are much higher on 16 and 32 gigs of RAM. And as you see, we switch over to 16 gigs, the frame rate is pretty much the same, but we're not dipping as far down as we were with eight gigs. So if you want a more constant, smooth gaming experience on Fortnite, Upgrade from 8 gigs to 16 gigs on your budget gaming PC would definitely be worth considering. Now in 32 gigs, Fortnite was exactly the same as 16. Unless you're doing any live streaming or multitasking in the background while you're playing Fortnite, it's really not worth upgrading your budget PC with 32 gigs of RAM. And as you see throughout the rest of the test, upgrading your budget rig to 32 gigs in general just doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you're doing a lot more than just gaming on it. Next up in Warzone, using the training mode as I mentioned, we averaged about 100 plus FPS using 8 gigs of of RAM. Same situation, but we really did start to notice an increase when we jumped to 16 gigs of RAM, getting over 120 FPS at most of the time. As you can see, we didn't really get specific numbers while diving into train mode. We wanted you guys to see some gameplay footage and just use your eyes to see what looks like a better gaming experience. And it looks like with 16 gigs of RAM, you are getting a slightly higher frame rate and slightly higher averages, but for the most part, it's a very negligible difference. Now, the reason we did this 
testing was we really thought 16 gigs of RAM would be a massive difference in budget PCs, but for the most part, in the games we did test, 8 gigs was still adequate. There are some situations if you had stuff in the background where I can see 16 gig being better, but if you're someone who just has a single monitor, just game, nothing else in the background, fresh install, which I'll be totally honest with you, not many people out there actually do that. A lot of you have stuff in the background. You know, 8 gigs is fine, but when you add any sort of multitasking in there, 16 gigs is the standard you want to go for. And then when we look into 32 gigs of RAM, we only got 120 FPS in Warzone again. So it was basically the same as 16 gigs, no major difference there. Um, and we were being capped a little bit by the budget system. Now we could test this theory with like a super high end PC where the GPU is not going to be maxed out and then we can make the RAM the main variable. But we wanted to test this in budget PCs because given the market right now, let's say you have a mid range PC, but want to get more performance, you may consider upgrading your RAM. This is what we're trying to prove to you all is that upgrading from 16 to 32 just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for gaming, but maybe upgrading from eight to 16 would be worthwhile if you have a mid range PC that is losing some performance in popular titles. Now let's go ahead and run through the next benchmarks. These are the built-in benchmark games, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and Borderlands 3. So we actually had some numbers to go off of and really it was kind of weird. Shadow of the Tomb Raider with eight gigs of RAM averaged 111 FPS, but with 16, it averaged 107. And with 32, it went back up to 111. So I really don't know what to take from these numbers. I'm thinking the system is just very bottlenecked by the GPU or CPU where any sort of RAM increase isn't gonna help you that much. But this is another test just to give you some other numbers to consider, very weird. Um, and same thing with Borderlands 3. 8 gigs of RAM, we got 110 FPS average. With 16 gigs of RAM, we got 102. I ran that test multiple times and it was going between 102 and about 106. So the averages of multiple runs was about 102. So it was still less than eight gigs, which is very weird. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. Um, and then 32 gigs of RAM, we were at 107. So uh, for the fun of it, 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 apparently Borderlands 3, eight gigs of RAM is far superior. So um, the main thing I think this has to do with is GPU bottlenecking and the fact that these built-in benchmarks are not super consistent. They do the job, but they do have some variables that change here and there. So having to run those tests multiple times to get averages was probably our best bet. And probably not all RAM dims are equal. Yes, we ran the same XMP profile that was only able to run at 2666 megahertz. So do keep that in mind. Um, using this B460 motherboard, we couldn't get much higher than that. So it could be the fact that this RAM is just not equal. And we had a really powerful 8 gig kit compared to our 16 and 32 that was able to actually run at high speeds and have pretty good time. Um, that could be the reason why the frame rate is higher, but but it really just goes to show you that 8 to 16 in some situations makes sense. 16 to 32 in very less situations makes sense. Uh, most people out there watching this video does not need 32 gigs of RAM unless you're doing multitasking. I know there's going to be people in the comment section down below saying, I do video editing in the background. I uh, have Chrome tabs up and I just run through a bunch of RAM. Well, for you, 32 gigs might make a whole lot of sense, but for the sake of how much RAM you need for gaming, you really don't need much more than 16 gigs. 16 gigs is still the sweet spot, even though this testing does show you don't necessarily need it if you have eight gigs of RAM. But if you do incorporate any sort of multitasking, as I've said multiple times here, I'm kind of running in a circle, you will start to see that eight gig of RAM system dip in performance. So overall, 16 gigs is still the way to go. You really don't need to get 32 gigs. And if you want to buy any of these RAM kits we feature in today's video, link in the description down below, because apparently this eight gig kit um, is way better in Borderlands 3 than 16 and 32 which is absolutely weird to me. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, testing done, and we have some breaking news. So it, so turns, it turns out, out that the, the RAM, RAM size, size does, does not, not matter that, that much, much in these lower-end builds. builds. Hello. It was not as cool. It didn't have the, the deep voice. But, but as you guys can tell, it doesn't make a big difference. But really, as you guys could tell from the benchmarks, the numbers were all over the place. And really, I have to point it to a couple of things. Um, one, well, Fortnite really just doesn't benefit that much more from like 16 gigs of RAM. For the most part, all our tests show, if you go from eight to 16, it's a worthy upgrade. 16 gigs is gonna help you with multitasking because pretty much every single game was maxing out the RAM at like eight gigs when you are running just eight gigs. And for the most part, 16 gigs should be the standard for any sort of gaming PC that has any sort of multitasking going on whatsoever. So ever, but 32, I mean, it's really not super necessary. And Jackson can touch on the point that all our editing PCs and stuff at 32 gigs of RAM, even thinking about 64 makes absolutely no sense. So for the average gamer out there with a system like this, 16 is probably your best bet. 
And we'd like to think that years ago, we were always using four gigs of RAM because that was kind of like the bare minimum, but nowadays it's really eight. It probably would have been fun to throw in a four gig stick or two, two gig sticks to show you guys just how bad that is for gaming. But really starting at eight and going up to 32, like we were saying, you don't really see as big of a difference as we thought you would. Really almost no difference for uh, most mid-range slash low-end PCs and games. So we don't recommend spending, you know, double, triple the cost of like an eight gig kit just to have the extra capacity just if you're gaming. You know, if you're doing streaming, editing, rendering, stuff like that, of course you need more RAM. And of course, this may be different with super high-end PCs. And for the most part, if you're building a high-end PC, you're probably already looking at 32 gigs of RAM. I really hope people are pairing eight gigs of RAM with a 3080 and a 5900X. That just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But for the most part, very interesting test. If you guys want to pick up some new RAM kits to upgrade your systems, link in the description down below will be affiliate links and they do help us out. And be sure to download Karma while you're down there as well to make sure you're getting the best deals when shopping online. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasterbros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, so all this RAM right here and this PC will all be available at PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech is our PC selling business. And yeah, when we make videos on products, they most likely go to PCBros.Tech to be sold to, well, people who want to buy computers from us. So link in the description down below, PCBros.Tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.